Hey, can we still be friends? Bye! Huh? Hey, can we still be friends? So according to my religious beliefs, we can't really be friends, but we can work professionally. Do you need any help with anything? Yeah, could you edit my paper? Sure! Can guys and girls just be friends? We've been getting a lot of backlash from our previous video because I chose not to continue being friends with my male friends in, when I was younger. But now let me get more into detail about why we can't be friends with guys or he can't be friends with girls. So before I start this video, I wanna talk about the definition of acquaintance and a definition of friends. So an acquaintance is someone that you can talk to with limitation. You can talk to them, you can work with them professionally, you can you know interact in terms of like if they need help or if you need help from them then yes you can interact a friend is someone more at an emotional level more at a deeper level like you share your secrets with them you share your personal life with them there's someone that you need as a companion that's a friend that's how we define friendship now that kind of friend is something that's not allowed in Islam why because Islam promotes modesty when it comes to the opposite gender like for me I have to cover myself in front of the opposite gender yes I'm not all Muslims follow the rule that niqab is mandatory but hijab is obligatory like covering your head and we do that in front of the opposite gender and why do we do that because there are non-mehrams and there are certain etiquettes and there are certain limitations that we have with our non-mehrams this is just our religion guys we're not telling you to do this and because of these restrictions we have to maintain certain level of mannerisms when we interact with the opposite gender now when we become friends with the opposite gender yes it can be platonic like I've grown up very very platonic I've had friends that I was very platonic when it came to my relationship with them but it wasn't always platonic in return you guys get what I'm saying it wasn't always platonic on their side and trust me guys it does get awkward it's very uncomfortable sometimes so you can tell me that yes it can be 100% platonic and maybe it can be for months for years but then what happens when you get married when you get married you have a life partner and even though they might be okay with you having friends that are you know of the opposite gender they might still have that deep innate competitiveness that comes when you are sharing an emotional bond with someone else as muslims we believe that that emotional connection should only be shared with our husbands and when we share it with another person it might make them have that feeling of you know maybe some kind of insecurity maybe some kind of competitiveness and it could potentially make a rift in the relationship i'm not saying that happens to everyone i'm just saying there is a certain chance that it could happen and because of that chance we avoid the friendship thing altogether in islam basically anything that could potentially lead up to something is something Thing that we don't do so i've had many situations where even before i was muslim i had dated girls i've got to know girls typically most of the time one person does develop feelings and i know we've had a lot of especially females coming in the comments be like no no i have a platonic friendship with a guy we don't like each other it's not like that but the thing is you're going off that guy's word because there's, there's many situations i've been in personally other guys have been in where the girl thinks that it's platonic when it's really not and it could go vice versa for sure and even the example that you brought up with with like say a guy and a girl get married and then that girl maintains a relationship with a guy friend. Your husband may be like, oh, that's fine. You guys can be friends, but you don't really know for sure how he's feeling. He might deep down feel kind of uncomfortable, kind of awkward, but he can't really prevent you from seeing that person because it comes off controlling. So now he's stuck, right? So I would just say from my own experience, not having female friends, it actually makes things a lot more simple in our life because before, like for example, if I was with a girl and I had a friend, girl gets jealous it kind of creates this weird triangle and awkward situation yeah. that oh, you yeah. that you can completely avoid and with my relationship with Mubina my emotional connection is entirely devoted to her my eyes my thoughts my emotions are not with other women it's just simply with her it creates a much more respectful boundary in the relationship and I think ultimately can make things simpler and happier for both people I feel the same way my emotional connection with my husband is with my husband and no one else I don't share that emotional connection with anybody else and no matter how good a husband is there's still that thing where they might feel like okay my wife is legit having this special emotional connection with someone else yeah. honestly like even if everything is okay it's just because of that slight chance that it could cause something we avoid it altogether, guys now we have a question for you guys and i'm actually really curious about this me too <laughs> certain relationships both people say it's platonic but how do you know 100 percent sure that the other person feels platonic about you the same way that you feel about them they could be giving you their word but how do you know for sure that they're telling you the 100 percent truth we'd love to know your thoughts on 